This is a HeadGum Fan Supercut. Welcome to the HeadGum Podcast. This is the second episode, right, Jake? Yes, we're dropping a deuce. Nice. <laughs> what's that? Uh, we're taking a, a number two in your feed. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> this pod is shit. I don't know if we want to characterize the show as <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah. I was, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't want to. Careless Whisper. Oh, wait, no. That's what's that? That's not a saxophone <laughs> it song. It is. It's the, it's the <laughs> one sax song. Yeah. So, Jake, one word? Oh, yeah. Um, fucking swanging. What's that? Kettlebell swanging. <laughs> Two words. My, my week <laughs> can only be swangin'. described as swanging. What were you asking us before? This is not a virtual background, by the way. You're in front of an Aurora Borealis, and it looks like the middle of Norway. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Is that why you're that's wearing beautiful. that hat? What's that? Is that why you're wearing that hat? No, I'm wearing the hat because I didn't show. Oh, it actually doesn't look that bad. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Give me the, the hardest mocktail you have. <laughs> I, have a, I have a name suggestion. We could pitch alts on it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Go ahead. A sexy virgin Shirley. What's that? S- so it's a sexy virgin Shirley. So it's like, damn, that's yeah. a good looking drink. But ultimately, it's a virgin Shirley Temple. You don't have to say sexy. Yeah, Devin taught me, and he was sort of this, like, curmudgeonly um, Protestant. And so he, what he did was he, like, ran me through it very fast because he also had to go make the short rib. And um, I just Protestant. didn't. Protestant. What's that? <laughs> Why'd you specify what kind of Christian he was? Oh, nothing. He was just, like, a Lutheran or whatever. So basically <laughs> he, like, packed the, the, the beans. He grinded them and then packed Different. it. But he did it so fast that I, there's no way I could have known. And then also, like, on Sundays he would go to, like, St. Monica's uh, yeah. uh, Lutheran Church on, <laughs> on Bell Road. And so I would sort of track him. <laughs> Amir seems upset. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just learning, yeah, all, about all this at once, and it's hard to, um, sorry about that. What was that? Are you listening it, uh, to uh I was downloading something and I guess it finished downloading as I was recording and then it auto played in my iTunes. So it was like a podcast starting during a podcast. And for like a bu- a few brief seconds, this podcast was slightly better because it meant that there was another podcast about to happen. <laughs> you know what? I think actually that was pretty good. I feel <laughs> that was I feel better now. Good. Good. <laughs> Zach, you're I th- don't. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Imagine a doc, a dentist's office that plays or, Numb when he, they're administering <laughs> Novocaine. I'm sure it's happened. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> you cut out, I almost did. She, <laughs> she, did it. she said, I'm sure it's think. happened. She gave you an attaboy. She gave you an attaboy. She you agreed. You almost think. <laughs> yeah. We're basically through the story. Just finish it. Every you guys time at- we do this show... I'm left ending it alone. Now I've got you guys on the hook. Line and sinker. You gotta stay. You gotta stay until I fucking finish the story. That's the weirdest voice you've ever done. You, what was that? <laughs> Every time we like do the show. Every you're like accusing me. Do the show. You're accusing me in the South. What's that? Sorry, I was just saying you sounded like a prosecutor from Alabama or something. Don't <laughs> fucking grind the show to a halt. <laughs> All right. All right. Welcome to a new episode of the HeadGum Podcast with none other than Marika Brownlee. Hi. Also, we have Amir Blumenfeld and Billy Scafuri of the No Joke Podcast and uh, TV writing fame, what have you. Emmy nominated. What's that? Emmy nominated. <laughs> Who are you talking about? Billy, I think. Billy, are you nominated for an Emmy? You're an Emmy winner. Oh, uh, Jeffrey, I've won a couple. You've won two. I've won a couple, yeah. A couple or two? More than two? Yeah. No, I've won two. Yeah. Don't say nominated if you won. Nominated, it's like what you reserve for people who haven't won any. And he's well, he won was two. nominated, and then he won. Right. The Lifetime Achievement Award with regards to self-editing, sort of knowing where to shut your trap and where to, like how to get the best out of someone. It's Jeffrey really James, the HeadGum Podcast. Yeah, level it. I can level barely it. hear you. <laughs> What's that? You might want to level it. I haven't see. spoken to Willie Nilly in years. Who? William Niller. 
He's um, <laughs> I did swimming with him in high school, so he did a lot of like the relays. But we What's all up to now? Huh? What's he up to now? <laughs> Mike, mm-hmm. you're, uh, you and I talked about microphones the other day. I have an Audio-Technica ATX 2021 or something. What well, watch you, is that? What's that? What's the <laughs> <laughs> What's the one that you find in the box of Lucky Charms? Yeah, what's the watch, the equivalent? Yeah. It's yeah. a fucking Casio calculator watch that's This broken. isn't even a watch, it's a locket. Right? <laughs> so some people have pocket watches, which are basically lockets with watches in them. This is just a shell of a mic. <laughs> I wanted to kind of get my act together for you and for the listeners this episode. So I'm going to try my best to keep it even killed and not off kilter, not right of center. Perfect. Okay. What was that, Amir? I was saying, okay. <laughs> What's the idea then? I would butt chug the vaccine. I would text my Coke guy and I'd have an Italian beef steak. A, a what? An Italian beef steak? <laughs> yeah. That's not a real sandwich. An Italian beef steak. What is that? What's that? You know, is that a sandwich or? No, it's just a, it's like a like beef a fucking, steak tomato? It's a ste- well, no, it's a steak and it's made of okay, beef. So why you say it's beef? made of Italian <laughs> beef. All steaks are beef. All steaks are beef. And what does it mean, Italian beef? Because the, the cow is from fucking, the cow is Italian. I don't think so. Blank has an optional C-pillar garnish with the sole logo. Kia or Kia? The Kia. It's the car one. Correct. I don't, Kia why soul. does it, a car, so f- why does the What's that? car come with a garnish? Why does the car come with a garnish? Yeah, he said it's optional. All right, final question. All right, this is triple or nothing. Whoever wins this wins the game. People often have to decide between a Mazda CX-3 and blank. Kia, the car. Wrong. Yeah, it's no, Kia's not. merch. This kid is making a lot of money, all right? And a lot of his shirts sell out fast and go pretty... Kia's uh, merch for, wasn't an option. What's that? Was it? His merch wasn't an I option. I said related to. You know what? Fine. Let's do one last one. Which one's hotter? The, the guy. The guy. Correct! I win. <laughs> I agree with that, actually, because I, yeah, I have my night sweats uh, that I put on right before I have my night sweats. and uh, <laughs> I, But during the day, like, I'll wake up and slap that denim on because they have a little bit of give. What are you I, wearing I want right to be able now? to go up. What's that? What are you wearing right now? Banana hammock. <laughs> Thanks for asking. So basically, yeah. <laughs> Your dick's out. Yeah, a little Your bit. Your dick's out. Actually, a friend recently texted me about something I'm excited to make. You roast green beans and then you put a bunch of chili crisp on it. Are you still stewing in the summer? Because it's like air conditioned at home, so it really doesn't matter. Or is it like yeah, when you're sometimes. like it's too hot Just outside? Make a big curry. Yeah, even if it, it's like you can have a curry in August and that's fine because like you got any the pet peeves. What's that mean? Any pet peeves? Um, Why the like face? Why was Wait. that voice in the face? Also, they were right in the middle of a conversation. You <laughs> cut me off from even interjecting <laughs> into it, saying that I too like to make stews and roast things. We have a nice. <laughs> and you accidentally started a nice conversation, and you couldn't even let that happen. <laughs> if you wear a janitorial outfit, you can get into any building after hours. I've robbed like twenty hedge funds. <laughs> He's just doing his half hour. Yeah, where'd for you pull us? the tune? Oh, that's nice. That's Tell Me Why by Neil Young. <clears throat> Learn how to Have play it ever- better. What's that? <laughs> a lot of the t- <laughs> A lot of the times it's not coming out well. And you're you have to keep that in. You did have well, some time to practice. Practice you're more. Now. Right. You practice. practice that much. Mm. Um, this segment did not go how I thought it would. Um, did the I other ones? That I would... What's that? Did the other ones go well to you? <laughs> the, the get to know Claire's laughter looked great to me. It's going to sound even better. Um, this brings us to our final segment, slapping my ass off. Amir is so old, he's still shocked that alcohol is legal. That one makes a little bit of sense, yeah. right? Yeah, because so prohibition's like, 100 years prohibition, old. Prohibition, yeah. 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 Prohibition, not prohibition. What's that? I'll cut this part out, but 
why do you do this, Amir? <laughs> like, you come on the show almost every week, and then you fucking try to make me out to be a fucking <laughs> asshole. Last week's episode it was fine. You weren't right, there, it and it actually went pretty well. Everyone thinks I'm the one that derails this shit. You just kind of <laughs> box me into this corner to make me out to be some fucking moron. <laughs> Mike, what about you? Dream home? Where is it? What style? How big? I know nothing about houses, but I would say it would be probably in New Hampshire near a lake. Um, kind of like, but not on the lake necessarily. Why not on the lake? The Too sound much. of water uh, scares me. <laughs> just, What's that? What's I the sound just, of a lake? <laughs> the sound, like, um, I don't fucking care. Just get your answer done with. Jesus, if he's dead, which I think that's not sacrilegious to say, right? Jesus lives. What's that? I, I heard Jesus lives. <laughs> Headgum LA, Headgum Brooklyn, or working from home? Ooh. Well, Headgum uh, LA doesn't exist anymore, so kill Headgum LA. No, no, this, let's, let's say for the sake of this one, we have head, the new Headgum LA office. It's somewhere really cool in Silver Lake. A new kind of re- Reno office style not co-working because we're obviously we have our own private suite but <laughs> what's that <laughs> uh amir you and i were just talking about your guys's true tv pilot like a few days uh, ago. you were asking me about it i wouldn't say we were talking <laughs> about it you were asking me to see it and i said i don't think i have it anymore and you said we should put it online and i said i don't think that's a good idea is that what you're talking about that conversation i just thought because of those concerns yes that's what i was talking about that maybe we could kind of punch it up on the day in the edit room and i'd be happy to edit it for you guys so i'm gonna play a few scenes if that's cool and then we can kind of like how do you have it <laughs> what's that how do you have it oh i got it uh it doesn't matter like i'll that's bad podcasting to like go through the whole process and explain to you how I found the file, but I have it. So just I don't mind. This whole thing is a bad podcasting. Tell me how you got the how you got the cut. I just googled Jake and Amir on YouTube, and then somebody leaked it online. I think so. I just went to the first thing that came up. Jake and Amir on YouTube. Yeah, I don't think that's our probably pilot. isn't no, the pilot. The, it looks like it. I mean, the the production value is pretty good. Here we go. Thanks so much for listening to the show. Be sure to listen to Review Review, Lackluster Video, Newcomer Season 2, uh, If I Were You, Buckets, Nadpod, etc., etc. Hell yeah. And we'll, Podcasts. What's that? Maybe. Do you want to say it? Yeah. If you want to say it, just say it. Just say, say goodbye. We'll see you next week or something. True can't cancel my podcast because I own it. So the joke's on them. I, I didn't want to bring it up in the middle of the show, but I did get CC'd on an email. It's What? It was... About what? It says... Let me just... It, up. it says you're canceled fucker <laughs> uh riley we finally got you back on i was getting bullied online for not having you on even though i asked you every week for a semester <laughs> and then i stopped asking because you said no every time and then you were like hey I'm, i think i might come on the headgum podcast this week so you threw me a bone here and i do appreciate it Monshi is the second hardest guest to get so this is a big episode am i What's that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the new tagline of the show. <laughs> Take a podcast. What's that? <laughs> and I'm really glad that we're throwing around very universal pieces of um, culture, like 1776 and Lion King one and a half. It's something that like everyone can relate to and For be like, sure. oh, totally. I know what that is. I yeah. know what that's I like. Mean, Ferris, you get, you get it. I totally get that. Ferris, when was the last What's time you that? got to say it? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah, it, it is super tough. And uh, so, yeah, it's like a lot of meat and mayo and fats. And, oh. Yeah, it's yeah. And it sounds good for a meal. Based. And then it gets like, sorry, one second. It sounds good for a meal. And then you sort of get nauseous thinking about it. Or it's like, oh, my God, so much oil. Like oil. Yeah. It's kind Jeff, of like how you feel before you eat fast I food. Am. What's that, Jeff? I am. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Uh, God, I <laughs> this is sports related, but you know, I'm a Laker fan and Clippers were up big and it's just like I'm telling Clipper Nation, don't get too excited, don't get too excited. <laughs> they're they're gonna blow it. That's what the Clippers do. And he's like, No, this is a new Clipper team. We got Kawhi Leonard, we have proven winners. And so, what's so funny, Jeff? What was so funny? You were like saying things joyfully, but they were rude sentences. So like there was like a <laughs> There was a disconnect there, and that's what the comedy was coming from. And so I was just kind of oh chuckling. wow, what a great show! People love when you explain a joke. That's I the didn't part want of all. to. People love. I didn't when want you to. And he said, "What was funny? I had to explain it." He put me on the spot, 
Ferris is yeah. staring me at the eyes. I'm, I'm, he's pissed. I'm sad. I'm scared. I'm on edge <laughs> of my seat because I don't know what's going to happen next. And I'm also kind of walking on eggshells. Sax. This man fascinates me. <laughs> <laughs> And I want to take them out for drinks. So, like, there are some text messages that you want to recover, but you weren't backing them up to iCloud. He's got mm, sure. you. His street name, Ferris Manchi. O M Anchi. <laughs> Ferris Manchi Boulevard or like a cul de sac or whatever. What's that? My, my st- <laughs> What's what, Jeff? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's so funny because Charlize has a certain way of doing things in a way that's like kind of How different so? from the way other people do it. Sure. So Charlize How? ends up, what's that? How so? Because like this is such a specific <laughs> dare. How do other people go out in the middle of the street and scream, I know what you did last summer style? <laughs> yeah. So Charlize like ended up, she <laughs> she got her daughter to fucking do it. You know Marlies. So Charlize puts, she's because she so. always wears the robe, <laughs> CT, Charlize Theron. So she puts the CT robe on Marlies and Marlies ends up going out in the street. And I can see it's not Charlize, right? Because I know what Charlize looks like. Sure, from movies <laughs> and, and TV. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. I just got a text. Yeah, from? From uh, Charlize or Marlies? Uh, her lawyer, actually, but. Name? It's What's fine. his name? What's that? What's the lawyer's <laughs> name? Harley's name? <laughs> Harley's. Harley's. Harley. Yeah, Harley's <laughs> Theron. His last name yeah. is Theron. <laughs> yes, not spelled the same way. Is it H A R L I Z E or H A R L E Y S? It's that with an E at the end. God. Harley's A. Like a caprese salad almost. What can I say? <laughs> it's autumn, Micah. <laughs> I guess so. Happy have October. The- What's that? I said happy October. <laughs> so, Thank you. So fast. <laughs> I appreciate that, actually. Um, that's the thing about, we kind of talk behind your back at the network sometimes, Amir, is that you're kind of one-sided. Like, okay. yeah, you're a comedian, but like you don't have any hobbies, you know? So then I'm wondering if, what's that? Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> I have hobbies. What I have hobbies. Okay. hobbies. Okay. List five. Then never mind. You're giving uh, me too much credit. I, I just, for me, it's about like throwing up enough shit on the wall, seeing what sticks, seeing what hits, seeing what uh, strikes a chord or a nerve with someone. Oh, Are you pissed? okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that, Marika? I just laughed. <laughs> it is boiling hot. Yeah. <laughs> I also have like serious chills right now. So this is just, this is really good for yeah, me. Yeah, you have, you have the virus. You for sure. I'm sorry, I'm not really following what you're saying. Coronavirus, COVID-19. Regeneron. The reason why we can't go anywhere. What was that? Regeneron. Yeah, it's like an ad for the steroid he took. Right, um, gotcha. Regeneron. Yeah, <laughs> they, yeah they did it. It's, so it's almost like... a jingle. So, oh. so you're on, you think you're on the verge of death every meal? <laughs> yeah, like, I, oh, no. charcuterie is like such a nice way to like have your last meal. <laughs> such a nice last meal. So, um... <laughs> Yeah, I would definitely go ham on it. And considering my metabolism is like extremely high, I don't see any yeah. repercussions from it. That must be nice. Yeah, that's good. All right, I'm going to see who's at my rice. door. You guys it keep talking. It must be rice to have a faster metabolism than George. Uh, Washington. All right. What's that? Washington. Yeah. Okay. All the right <laughs> tightness in the wrong places. Oh, yeah, we're wearing jeans. What's that? I said um, <laughs> it was just a little ditty. It doesn't. Did you have to sing it again. So I think you're in the grand scheme of things. Did you sing it? It's hard because I'm like starting to get really sad, but it's uh, the way it was. <laughs> we all take kind of the worst spaces in between our sentences. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you guys all celebrated Halloween for real? I guess this is just for Amir because you're like almost over the hill. Um. Yeah, uh, maybe ten ten years ago or something. When I was twenty seven. I'm not over the hill. I'm thirty seven. Yeah, <laughs> I was twelve. What's that? Oh, nothing. I was just saying I was twelve when that was happening. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> this one's for Ferris. Frankenstein audio. It's the way of the world, Frank. What is Frankenstein audio? Are you? Fucking kidding me? What is this? This is unbelievable. <laughs> like, I said that this episode was half baked before we started recording. This was the only thing I put time and effort towards. I mean, it's clear because you're just reading jokes that you wrote out loud that I'm selecting by number. <laughs>
<laughs> That's what the segment is. What does that mean, Scorpio season? You know, sometimes you really like out yourself as someone who doesn't know a lot on the show. <laughs> yeah. All right, teach me. <laughs> uh, you want me to teach you? Yeah, it's um, <laughs> go for it. It's funny that you ask because uh, it's a season, obviously. Of yeah. And uh, it happens at a when. Certain... What's that? When? <laughs> when does it happen? Well, when I mean, does I'm, that happen? And I'm glad that you asked because it's like you know, it's coming up soon or not. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Which one is it? I'm gonna go wild guess. Maybe not soon. <laughs> he did that ass. He had that fat ass. That massive ass. It was a graveyard ass. He did that ass. It caught on with my ass. He did that ass. It was Monchi's ass. That's the part I don't get. Yeah, okay. <laughs> What's that? That's, that's the part I don't get. That it was Monchi's ass? Yeah, I thought it was your ass. I was singing yeah, it from your perspective. Too. Also, I'm your left, for sure. Yeah. Right at the beginning. So he didn't even hear the, um, he did that ass part. Yeah. Every state is like Florida this time around. So it's not just Florida. It's like Florida, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. And they're all waiting. And they're like, oh, don't count these votes. Count these votes. Wait, I'm up by 2,000. I'm down. I think it's going to be Joe Jorgensen by a landslide. <laughs> by no a landslide? A re- What's that? <laughs> not in a landslide. <laughs> <laughs> a unique by disaster one. to the election. It's going to be Joe Jorgensen Falling on a landslide <laughs> and not getting a single county. The landslide won Joe George. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been counting ballots and I didn't see one for George. <laughs> what about a pumpkin spice Ate. So it's an ar- autumnal latte. But instead of milk, instead of milk, you're using like a, almost like the cream that comes what out about of a, a pumpkin spice ote. What's that? Like oat, oat milk latte, but it's pumpkin also. Have you guys ever had Raylene's? What's that? It's like Bailey's, but it's made from Gord Isles. <laughs> When you say Gord Isles, do you mean like A I S L E or like I S L E? I S L E. It's, it's absolutely obviously... the first one. A I S L E. What do you mean? Absolutely. What about yeah. ankle braces? I actually had one of those for a while recently. What happened? Oh, because you sprained your ankle playing basketball? Yeah. Tore a couple ligaments in the old ankle. Jesus. Pumpkin spice ligaments. For instance, would be a weird one. <laughs> yeah. Gord Isle ER. What's that? So if you like, if there's an emergency, you rush to the ER. And then if this, if it's Gord Isle style, then there's just a bunch of pumpkins lining the walls. It seems like you just want to live uh, surrounded by pumpkins based on mm. what you're saying. You're just like creating a community and a way of life. Oh, here's something. On Gord Isle. Why don't we call wool socks ankle turtlenecks? Yeah. Yeah. Amir left. Amir left, obviously. obviously. Uh, thank you to Ferris Manchi, as always, the lockless monch, 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 the lockless monchi. You <laughs> um, like broke. <laughs> somebody comes in from the background, turns a giant key in my back. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Overall, we're, we're about to hit uh, a big streak here of, of movies. December is going to be a big one, and I'm excited. So, uh, it's true. So that I, Which one are you most excited oh for? Oh, my God. That is maybe some Mank action. I'm, I'm all for Mank. <laughs> for what mank. is that? <laughs> you don't know about Mank? No. It's, no. it's the new Fincher. It's one of the worst names of, or titles <laughs> yeah. I've ever heard. It's so sure. cacophonous. <laughs> and that's why I'm excited for it, because I get, yeah, to spend, get to spend a whole day saying Mank on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> First, let's just get into it. Um, I obviously... <laughs> Opened a little bit of a, you know, a, a bag and let the cat out, right? Because I said, uh, Amir, don't text anybody else during the show. Um, I said, I, I basically forced uh, John George, former intern in front of the network, to name three things he disliked about Jake. And uh, I was lambasted, roasted over a fucking skillet this earlier today on the Slack for like trying to keep things light. And I, A, I don't think that that was very fair. B, I have a way to write seemingly what people thought was a wrong but i thought was a right so let's write the right or wrong 
Okay, what was that? I don't understand any of that. That was so meandering. And then it just ended like we knew what to do. But it didn't make any <laughs> sense. <laughs> if you're not hot, you're not valued. Why? Why is this a your soapbox right now? What's that? You're kind of I'm judging people by the I'm echoing sentiments that my dad told me when I was nine. Your dad told and me And you that. said you've been seeing a therapist? My dad took a fucking measuring tape, wrapped it around my bust, and said, yeah, you're a 34C. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a fry yay. Really? Why is that for you? Uh, I worked out today, had a good one on that um, front, right? Um, and uh, What did you do to work out? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Sorry, you're about to do some sort of <laughs> stupid Dr. Evil thing, so I'm glad I cut that off. What did you do to work out? I, uh, I did back. <laughs> so. <laughs> I, think good, I think good latkes are hard to make. Yeah, because yeah. it's, it's not just shredded potato. You have to like mix it into a flour mixture. Otherwise, it just mm -hmm. like crumbles apart like hash browns. So it's hard to use egg. And if it's too thick, it's if bad. You, do you do it in a food processor? No. Uh, I, I think you shred it in a food processor, or you can, and, but then you also have to like mix it almost like a, I don't know enough about Cocktail. <laughs> What's that? Nothing. <laughs> Amir, podcast network? <laughs> Bad business idea. Mean. Correct. That's $30 to Marika. That She's employs pulling ahead. You. What's that? That employs you. Gainfully. Yeah. That's yeah. good. <laughs> so, oh, that's good? Yes. Obviously. Mm. You're fired. Because I was, for for this? <laughs> <laughs> I've a lot of other things, too, but yeah, I guess this is like, I don't know. I've been, like, pretty much taking cuts of Johnny's salary. Wow. How? And I get fired How? for this? What's that? How? I told him, hey, man, like, I'm pretty high up in this company. I could really help you out if you just give me 20% daddy <laughs> and he fucking agreed to that what have you he done to earn agree, that but i i figured out a, a back end way through gusto to kind of get a cut of the shit okay. how do you know we use gusto <laughs> <laughs> don't know things about our processes jeff's actually never been paid <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> that was actually incorrect. <laughs> let me finish yeah you finish After storage for up to 30 days in the thermal shipper Amir wouldn't survive. Fact. It's not, it's Fact. not, it's meaner vaccine. So I guess I'll say vaccine. <laughs> Correct. I said That's $30. <laughs> What's that? Marika did say vaccine earlier. In some fucked up way, it switched, I think, between when Don't you guess and when Amir guess. Think. Marty, what kind of person has two first names anyways? <laughs> This one makes me laugh. <laughs> that one's funny. You that one's that. actually pert. What's that? <laughs> Jeffrey James. <laughs> Yours is more so than Martin Michael. You froze, buddy. No, it's not. He's just... didn't. <laughs> it's a moving video. <laughs> He's just this is... taken aback or sad or something. It's hard, you know, because you don't have a choice in your name and like, especially last name, let alone first name. You can change your first name. You can't change your last name. <laughs> you can actually change both. What? <laughs> <laughs> what about Cornelius Wedge? Salad. Correct. <laughs> Amir, you guessed the secret word of the game. That's a thousand dollars. What was it? What's that? What was the secret word of the game? Cornelius. Yeah. <laughs> It's not a word. <laughs> it's a name. It's a proper noun. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's a pronoun. <laughs> it's not. Okay. Uh, and then Marika, um, when was the last time you felt really excited about somebody that you were potentially dating? <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> no, like, you know that feeling where you have butterflies right. and you're like, yeah, you're actually, you didn't oh, ask this person's special. To anyone else, so why me? Are you targeting me? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like it's some, you know, something to talk about. We've been talking about fucking babies for the What's past. What's on your minutes. shirt? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not me. But if if you're curious, uh, try BetterHelp. That's B E T T E R H E L P <laughs> slash. If I they were never you, never ask me to spell it all out. No slash review review. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. Slash goat show. You, all right. Do you guys know that? Or I guess. Well, 
I know Angie and Sam, you probably know, but Jake, that the um, coupon code for this show is is what's that? <laughs> I okay. I sent that to Marika the other day and was like. Is this even for one of our shows? Because I've never heard this before. <laughs> she said it's a running joke, and I would love to it's, be in on it. It's you'll you'll catch on, oh, okay. and if not, I'll tell you at the end. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no cap in all of that, by the way. No cap. Johnny yeah, Bill no on the cap. show. Amir, what's that? <laughs> First one so of the year. I'm just chiming in casually. <laughs> yeah. You're just yeah. chiming in casually. No, I'm not. I'm All not. Right. I'm chiming in. I, what I said was right. <laughs> <laughs> so to walk us through this watch. What are we looking at there? This is a Tudor Submariner uh, 79190, right? I don't uh, know. The lat- What's that? What a boring <laughs> hobby. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about Spectre instead. What about Skyfall? Is it Bond? <laughs> Make it interesting to us. Well, now Reference. Bond wears Omega. And I don't know where that switch was. I think it was in the 70s. But in nice. the early... What's that? I just <laughs> very politely said nice. But I guess I regret it. Eat your watch. What's that? I can't eat metal. I want you to swallow the watch. I want you to choke on and maybe die while this you is try the to eat that. This nicest way... To tell somebody to go kill themselves. Eat your watch. You to, I want you to suck on your swatch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, like, just today, I, I put in a lowball offer on uh, an Omega Constellation. Uh, market value between fifteen hundred and two thousand, and I bought it for seven fifty. Wow. I and what you do you do store. now? What's that? You're mad again. <laughs> I, are you going to put this for sale in your vintage shop? That's, you know what? That's actually better. That's better than what my model was going to be, which was going to be kind of door to door calling B2B style. <laughs> we have five more minutes to fill and I can't think of Jack. Comate's offering me nothing in the form of <laughs> entertainment value. <laughs> sellers is sellers out because I know that he's joining Team Coco. <laughs> the papers are already on the way. Yeah. <laughs> what? I proctored not only an exam, <laughs> yeah. but the deal for Danny for Team Coco. So you were his oh, agent. We You're a headhunter. Okay. What's that? You're a headhunter, <laughs> is what I said. <laughs> Have you seen Entourage? Yeah, some. You know Ari Gold? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Ari Brown. What is your name? <laughs> I'm going to fight nationality? for my clients. Like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> I oh, am nice. half Indian, half white. <laughs> Bi, as it were. Um, <laughs> some, in some way, shape, or form, I'm also curious about the world. <laughs> so you, one could say I'm bi-curious and mercurial. Are you just freestyling <laughs> random words? To that end, feel? I've I've been trying to invest in Dogecoin. Why? What's that? Why? Uh, because... Robinhood made this kind of skeezy move to restrict people from buying more GameStop and more AMC. But yeah, if you're going to put your money somewhere, put it in Dogecoin. <laughs> like you shouldn't be giving financial advice. What's that? Um, uh, <laughs> I actually have fucking had it, Marika, with these quips, right? And I've actually fucking had it, Danny, Amir, Marty, Johnny, Angie. <laughs> With you not selling ads on this show for things like Quip. So I've had it with Marika's Quips and I've had it with not having Quip money. That I could invest in Doge, Ferris. Yes. I'm sorry, but Sax. Today my computer took the initiative and literally restarted during the show. <laughs> Amir had Pyle like create a program for that. Like, <laughs> 20 minutes in when you have to launching Zoom. Anytime Jeff is involved in the Zoom call, yeah. it shuts it's, down. It's triggered in. by hearing mm-hmm. what's that three times loudly. <laughs> and then it just sort of, <laughs> enough is enough. All right. What about, what about Volks's wagon? Who's Volks? There's no follow-up questions. Yeah, I guess that's the George squeeze then. Because it's like Correct! a guy, yeah, with a, a huge ass. breaks even. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so yeah, my buddy to get Volks, back to zero. he has a fat ass. He yeah, kind of like, no. why Volks I walks know. in the room and then his ass walks in five minutes later, right? And so he's <laughs> nice. trying to squeeze, sorry, what's that? 
I just said nice. I'm trying to warm up again because you fucking interrupted the flow of this shit. I think Amir's biggest vice is... I'm going to have to go sweets. I think... What? What's that? What did you say? Sweets? I'm going to have to go sweets. Like, um, you know, Mars bars, candy, anything. I'm gonna go iced coffee. Mm, that sounds pretty ice. good. It's not pretty good. It's not a vice. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to editorialize. <laughs> yeah. Cigars I've never had. I, I smoke. <laughs> this is the smoke image turns of me a mirror. Off. Yeah. Or just holding the, a cigar. The idea of having smoke in my throat. I don't, I don't know like that so, like so you're not a fan cigars. of jelly i never babies. got into that what's that when i said sweets i didn't just mean like sugar i meant like like fucking candy and you know the united yeah, kingdom i don't so like, like candy you don't like don't wine like gum no i don't like gum i don't chew gum it's not gum it's like more like chocolate. little jellies you don't like victory v no i don't know what that is are you just naming like british <laughs> candy you never had a whisper i don't know what any of this <laughs> stuff is and i'm telling you i don't like candy leave me alone moving on catch you on the flip Diesel? <laughs> Awful face. Really? <laughs> Bad face to end on. Okay. Yeah, I heard it in the edit and I had no idea what <laughs> to do with it. Face was behind it, but. Who's Flip Diesel? What's that? Who's Flip Diesel? Flip yeah, Diesel? Who's... That's Felicity Diesel, Vin's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we might have to do is come up with our own vaccine and that's what we're going to do here today the headgum podcast uh better help vaccine because they'll help fund some of this shit no they won't how hard could it be <laughs> let's start there very I hard i think if what's that very hard immediately so <laughs> okay but hard. how do you let's talk about it how do you figure it, it's, we don't know the first thing about vaccines. We don't have a lab. None of us are equipped. Mm -hmm. They're already a year ahead of us. Team of scientists working around the clock. We don't have the times, the, me <laughs> the means, the money, or the facility to get it done. So when you ask how hard it is, it's impossible. Miley Cyrus and Robert Smigel, ship or nah? Who's Robert Smigel? Yeah, I don't are know you Robert Smigel. Why would they be together? What's that? I, Amir, is this a real person? <laughs> this Robert character? Yeah, he's like a he's like a I think he's a 60-year-old comedy writer or something. It's well, such a bad It's a really bad pairing. pairing. Yeah. Do you ship or not? I wouldn't ship it, but All right, what about Anya Taylor-Joy and David Who o is that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Anya Taylor-Joy. She's the fucking <laughs> titular character of the Queen's Gambit. She was the queen. We never get deep on this show. Last week, uh, I think Ferris was vulnerable, and really? uh, I rewarded it. What's that? <laughs> I'm just reacting to what you say. You <laughs> jump down my throat when I'm like, yes, anding you. Do you know what I mean? You say Ferris no, got vulnerable. No, I'm not vulnerable, trying to jump and I say, down really? your throat. I'm trying. I'm I didn't say anything that time. I didn't say anything that time. You almost said, what's that? You just looked at me like expectantly. And I was letting you talk. I was letting you finish, even though that I think chill. what you're saying. I am chill. Don't what play are you doing? <laughs> There's a news story. Uh, you guys seen this in the news? Uh, <laughs> it's my Jay Leno. Nobody? I thought I saw a mere crack to smile. <laughs> I got it. It wasn't Come funny. on down to Burbank. I have a garage full of cars. <laughs> it's Jay Leno again. Onward. There's been... <laughs> what? Um, what do you think this is? I think this is a tough room is what this is. I think <laughs> no I'm way. you guys fucking gold. What did you think was going to happen? When you did the Jay I Leno was, twice. I didn't have a plan for the whole show, but with the Jay Leno thing especially, I thought I was going to come out. I was like, hey, did you say this? For What's that? I didn't say anything. We were listening you know, to this caught. fucking impression. We were listening again. to the thing. Come in, it's like, uh, uh, there's, you, you guys see this? Yeah, there's, uh, there's a story in the news, and uh, they're, 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 this is, I don't fucking, like, I'm on the verge of tears at this point. Like, I'm fucking on the spot. Really, he's looking at me like my dad does. So that's disapproving. <laughs> this segment is basically who else. <laughs> Would be the worst people to erect statues of right now. And, and where? And where. So person and place. Okay. Yeah. 
I like that. By the way, the Dolly Parton statue sounds like it would be a great idea, especially if she's so humble that she doesn't even want a statue. Right. I'll start us off just because I came prepared. Um, Jetty, yeah. what's that? I said, yeah. You don't want to continue. You don't want to continue <laughs> with your thought because you're so quick to. Did somebody say something? You just just be confident. Do you think yeah is is the start of a way longer sentence? Jetty Osman <laughs> in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Let's start there. <laughs> that one's fine. We have to figure out what this fucking show is. Like, either we're all taking part in a central discourse and I'm just one player that happens to be on every episode, or I'm in the fucking driver's seat and you guys don't try to derail the show to talk about, like, branded content opportunities. Like, you started that introduced one. that. All right, well, I forgot. That. This is episode 40. <laughs> yell at us. Episode 40 and you're Daddy trying to chill. figure... What was that? Daddy, chill. <laughs> I feel like you're just He's goading so us. so close to leaving. It's been 15 minutes. You're goading us into having a response that you can respond to from your soundboard. That's what it is. You gaslight us till we yell at you just so you can hit us with a daddy <laughs> chill. You're not wrong. Let's just get it back on track. Let's have a genuine conversation for the next tw- six minutes. All right. That can't be that fucking hard. Uh, let me just say for my one plug, <laughs> Jeff's a casual man. What does that mean? Uh, I was just saying for my one plug, just a casual. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Look it up, man. You're a fucking casual, dude. That's all. That's all I got to say. Good. Also, <laughs> listen to If I Were You. It's uh, my podcast. And follow me on Twitter. But all I got to <laughs> say, dude. <laughs> it's yeah, like Jeffrey, Jeff. Jeffrey James is a casual. Put, smoking dude. a pipe, but it, you're reacting to it like... <laughs> You're, you've changed, man. A casual is typically kicking back and rocking a casual <laughs> beer with a friend. Yeah. Okay, so what's but the problem? But you are one. I'm sorry. I don't know. I just don't get it, I guess. Well, I'm just saying that you're a casual, dude. Also, my basketball podcast, bro. <laughs> it's called Buckets. How are the plugs the messiest section of this podcast? <laughs> All right, welcome to another edition of the HeadGum Podcast. Oh my god. Uh, what's that? Why would you use that? Use what? I just found like a jingle. That's... <laughs> I don't want to expose myself, but that is from, you know, the hub. <laughs> what's the hub, Johnny? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Huge bomb drop. I cornered him and I fucking got him. <laughs> Hook, line, sinker. Johnny watches <laughs> internet pornography. This is... <laughs> <laughs> hilarious Danny <laughs> yeah it's not really it's like, a bad thing really no I've been listening to this podcast it's been getting nastier every week <laughs> <laughs> right. we have two division one athletes on the on the line I want yeah. Danny to show up to the headgum LA office the first day it opens and just go like this <laughs> with the waist up <laughs> spitting the, the water the WWE. out that's the uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Triple H. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you clearly just got out of the shower. <laughs> Why is your face wet, briefs? Danny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll be so nice to have an office again, huh? Yeah, so Danny was a Division One athlete in college. What? What's that? Just you can say both our names. Danny, wait, you were you were track and field, right? Or no? no, football. Football. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> no, no, it's not. That's a real sport. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, football is a real sport. Football is that's D1. If you're D1 football, that means you have some fucking talent <laughs> that means scouts wanted you i mean there's a lot there's a lot of d1 sports they're all equally as hard to to do oh like basketball for sure sure that's another baseball one. to a certain extent yeah um, sure yeah like track track and field uh cross country indoor track uh so, what are you talking about <laughs> Welcome to Executive Decisions. Welcome to Executive Decisions. Marty, you oh, are no. the, C- <laughs> the CEO of HeadGum, right? Co-founder, CEO, yeah. I think there's a certain responsibility that comes with being a CEO, if I'm not mistaken. There's a lot. What's that? There's a lot of responsibility. Okay. that's on- Yeah, okay. You're only proving my point further. I'm so sorry, Danny. You're down $80. This just wasn't your game, Danny. You know? I'm not paying you a fucking penny. <laughs> <laughs> um, press the wrong button, but we'll live with it. You love TikTok, uh, right, Jeff? What's that? 
You love TikTok? Not to change gears, I'm just asking you a question. It seems like this uh, this Pornhub thing is like kind of a meme. Oh, there he goes. He left. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. I, uh, I'm i going to go check out BetterHelp. <laughs> Don't forget to use any, one of our coupon codes. Actually, does review yeah, review have BetterHelp.com forward slash what's that? We ha- it sponsors this show. Oh. Anyway. Um, social media? Love it. Why do you ask? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if I might have to just get at Jeffrey James on Parlor just in case. Because what if it just in case? What if it doesn't become alt right? What if it pivots away? Because what doesn't people... become alt right? It's already become alt right. What do you think it is right now? Just slightly right <laughs> what, of center. What if, no. What if it becomes all right? Oh, TikTok. Like what was if it just becomes music. fine? What's that? <laughs> what if it becomes Vine? That's actually interesting. I, <laughs> I didn't say that. Six seconds is all you need on Parlor. <laughs> no, that's that's what Amir said. <laughs> no, I said yeah. All right, fine, whatever. Um, I bought a I bought a 2019 Kia Soul. Kind of, I I, I went to the dealership. I said, uh, what do you got here that a young bachelor should be driving around the West Coast? <laughs> And they, they showed me a soul, and I said, I'm buying it today. I got soul. I got soul. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? No, it was just sort of funny. The... <laughs> I was, yeah, I was sort of making a joke, and you had, like, yeah, yeah, you canned cut, laughter You over cut it. Amir's, like, really good joke off. Amir, say it again. What was no, Yeah. Say it again. Say it again. I, I got I'll edit soul. It. Uh, wait, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say anything that time. And yeah. I timed it perfectly. If you had finished the joke, it would have been good. Let's just, last time, if we don't get it here, we'll move on. But No, it's not. Yeah. I My heart is definitely not in, and I won't be able to, like... Sorry. It's just, like, when you started talking, I thought you were going to go straight into the joke, and I thought that would be perfectly timed. Let's, you say do the you, joke was... Is, do you have to press the button, and then there's two seconds of silence, and then the laughter? Because you can hear what I'm saying, but you're still pressing the there's button. There's a delay. There's a delay. It's almost like you're committing... <laughs> that one, my fingers slipped. I'll... Let's get it clean. Ferris will put in the laughter at the Ferris. exact right time. Have him take the audio from when I did sing it because I was singing it like my heart was in it. I feel like I was really into it like two times ago. And do that and do that again for us. It was basically the song that goes, <laughs> "I got soul, I got soul." I can't imagine so somebody like... feeling more regretful in this moment than Amir. I mean, here are three people you've chosen. <laughs> Where's the laughter? He he told me he told me to sing it, and like uh, we didn't even get the payoff. This one was a new one. This one was an, at the embarrassment that's on your face. It's just kind of funny. To Amir me. could say no yeah. to any of the three of us being involved with him. And here he is with three idiots. <laughs> what a choice. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> All right. Amir controls the board. There's five left up on top. Yeah. Let's go yeah. games for 100. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Games for 100. All right. <laughs> Jeff, you put in so much work to make this board. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't fucking appreciate the like surprise shock tone, Wolstein, right? I put my heart, right? and blood, sweat, and tears and soul into this shit. Who's going to join you on that right? Who were you expecting to jump on and be like, yeah, let's give Jeff a break? <laughs> Certainly not Amir, not Shelby, because no. that's who you're fighting with. So you're counting yeah. on me. Damn, Daniel. All right, games for 100. <laughs> I'll have to give Amir that one. That's the correct answer is what is all Ed Hardy everything? So that's head to toe. And that could be a sweatsuit. Amir controls the board. One last thing on there. This is for the win. Not really. (laughs) What's that? It looks like team two is ahead by an insurmountable lead. (laughs) All right. Then let's go triple or nothing, but you have to get it verbatim. Okay. (laughs) I actually had a Is note that... that was a little bit more tangible and useful, I would say. Zach. Oh, yeah, please. You might want to hit him with like a, what's that? Something like that when somebody's in the middle of saying <laughs> something. That's what I would do. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. How is this teaching you? Because sometimes Cause it's like whole... you can't, you want, you know that you truly know something when you can educate someone else on it. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so when would I say the what's that? Um, Jake. This shouldn't be right happening. Right there. What's that? Like right there. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> When somebody asks you a question that you don't want to have to be responsible <laughs> yeah, for, yeah, yeah. you yeah. sort of okay, talk over it. them and yell, what's and normally that? It, normally good. it's like a good question that could actually like <laughs> extend the conversation. Um, so right. just keep, keep that in mind as well. I mean, it's it's phenomenal okay. that Marika and I both got a, a pretty rare medical oh, yeah, exam that? yesterday. <laughs> It's not my job to like talk about hot button issues in an educated way that actually is productive, as you said, Zach. That's my... That's mm-hmm. just, but you're talking... What's that? You're talking about them 
in a not productive way that is kind of almost reductive maybe we agree that it's not your job we, we yeah. just don't think mm-hmm. the productivity is the pro you just don't need to talk about any of them. i'm trying to be open to like the feedback i just i asked for positive reinforcement you did ask for that which right. you know kind of cuts us off at the knees for the audit process <laughs> a little bit plugs <laughs> um zach Jake. i feel like we already did my plugs what's that we already did my plugs i think earlier you can do them again <laughs> you can it's do fine. them again yeah, no come no on. no come on <laughs> no stop guys i don't want to <laughs> People can go back if Holy they want to hear shit. that. They can go back. It was like the middle of the episode. You're asking them. It's like such an. It's already a task to get someone to follow you on social media or like watch the shows that you work on. You're asking them to go. I'm back I'm not going to tell seconds. them to follow at Zach B Dunn on Twitter. You know, oh, I already said nice. it. And that's the other thing that I worked on the past week is taking accountability for where I do go mm-hmm. not wrong, but just not to the fullest extent of my abilities. <laughs> Why don't we make it a little bit more egalitarian? Let's just have a conversation. That's another feedback I heard from Marika last week is that sometimes I don't let conversation ride. I interrupt with, what's that? And stuff like that. So, <laughs> so the first one was, let's wax, which is, let's have a conversation. Now this next one is, let's have a conversation. It seems like a bit samey to me. And then last week we had Melanie Bracewell on the show. And she, her. her main critique was that a lot of the game segments, which is why we had her on, because she's been on panel shows and this has kind of become a panel show, is... A lot of the segments are samey. Mm-hmm. And that's what she said. And then what again. What does that mean? What's that? Sorry, I've been trying not to what say What does it mean that. to be samey? Samey. From now on, let's treat this as a normal episode. We'll wax. We'll get to know each other even more. Uh, we'll play some games. There'll be some cash prizes. Uh, really? And, uh, what's that? There's going to be cash prizes? Yeah, so uh, we give out real money on this show now. Oh my god, it's so it's so different from when I last came on. Uh, it's really we found our stride, I think, in like November. And so you, so that's coming out of your pocket. You're directly paying people for <laughs> these games. Venmo. Yeah, that's he amazing. Paid Kayla Perrin, Jeff, uh, thirteen hundred dollars well, recently. <laughs> oh my god. You're actually doing a good job uh, conducting this train, and you've only yelled, "What's that?" Maybe once, and then you twice. called yourself out on it twice. Yeah, I think you're. Do- this is real. I think you're doing a good job. I think. I mean, granted, this the inciting incident for this whole thing happened three weeks ago, and I'm like, oh, you think you'd be over and maybe zero mm-hmm. podcasts. There it is. Into there figuring it, is. it out. <laughs> um, but I think you're doing a good job. Wait, can and- I just stop the podcast? Yeah. yeah, I let you run, but I had a couple things that sort of piled <laughs> up, and I was like, I'm going to forget all of them. Yeah. One, you started this segment by cutting off Riley. And I think it's more than just like interrupting with a what's that? Like it seems you're learning that lesson. It's in general cutting people off, especially with sound. And I, I thought it was just the what's that that seemed to get to people. So that's no, a good it's note. being interrupted in general. So that's no A. Yeah. Uh, and to nope. be interrupted by a damn Daniel. Sorry, go on, George. I just had oh. to add that. Like, of all things. but yeah, No, and continue. that makes sense. Oh, so in that case, actually, you double interrupted Riley because you interrupted her with the damn Daniel and then you interrupted her with the theme music for the second. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, it's hard, I think, you know, because the, I, we get to the 25 minute mark and then we have this run George. of show. You're interrupting George. I think, and this is like maybe an active solution moving forward. Yeah. Maybe in, in, if you still aren't over this by the end of this episode and you're doing this audit again next week, yeah, I think be. you lose soundboard privileges. I think moving in to the, if you have to do this again, you lose wow. soundboard privileges. Wow. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I mean, because the show is kind of the soundboard and vice versa. So well, right, just someone else would like. have it. And vice versa? What's that? <laughs> he said the, the show is the soundboard and vice versa. So the soundboard is the show. He's not wrong. <laughs> he's not wrong. He's it's not, not wrong. good, but he's not wrong. <laughs> Like, don't, don't think that the fact that you still blame me for that means you've learned absolutely nothing, <laughs> let alone been broken down brick by brick yeah. and bettered. <laughs> well, it's not only broken down brick by brick, but it was also like I almost set up a brick and mortar. What? And I don't mean a storefront. I mean that the bricks were broken down brick by brick and I went to Mordor because it was a hero's journey. Really? I, yeah. What's that, Jake? I was fucking, I was just following, I said, really, to your story. So you didn't even have to stop talking. I said, really? It's like a normal (laughs) thing that people do in a conversation. The lessons that I've learned so far, Blumenfeld, are, number one, I needed to stop blaming you, Amir, and I needed to instead look in the mirror and blame me. Yep. I need to be more relatable. Have you done that? What'd you say? Have you done that? (laughs) Nice, Jeff.
What'd you say? I like that. I feel like I have. You shouldn't want to have gotten the vaccine in your ass. All right. I mean, <laughs> people have this sore arm thing. I could have dealt with a sore ass and that wouldn't have been too bad because I would have got that vax. Anyway, I mean, fucking nothing today. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> nothing. Just embarrass, cut that out. <laughs> No, no, stop. Yeah. No. Stop. <laughs> yep. Do you say we're giving you nothing Not today? you, Marika. You've been great. It's just like I'm seeing blank <laughs> stares from Jake and Amir, which is insane because they used to be comedians on collegehumor.com. <laughs> oh, my God. What do you want with us to say? So far, all you said is that I wonder if I can get the vaccine in my ass. <laughs> Welcome to For Comparisons, Jake! You guys know For <laughs> We couldn't hear that. Well, there's no way we could hear that. It was deafening. And then you were sort of yelling over it. Peaked absolute nonsense. You guys know the old adage, like, for comparison's sake? Mm -hmm. Well, this is For Comparisons, Jake. <sighs> You've learned nothing. What's that? You've learned nothing. You haven't even <laughs> That's heard the name of the game. The game. It's not a yes, this or that. It's not a for cash thing yet. It's just a way to wax. It's a fucking format to play with. Don't within. get so defensive. You just paused the podcast to take a phone call. I muted so myself. The fact, that Amir, the fact that Amir is like, you haven't changed. It's not just about the game that's happening right, right now. You know what? The game it's itself about... is what's changed. You guys used to humor me. This used to be great. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Hey, 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 hey. Jeff, Good. dead. Wow. <laughs> oh my god! Or to the show, basically, not actually. Um, Sweet, Jeff hit us with the the old outro. Let's hear it. one last time. <laughs> the swan you are, song. Yeah, one final you have thing fired. You to do. Da, 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 da. What about review? Review. <laughs> oh, What's that? Plugs. Plugs. Yeah, I'm on Twitter, Blumenfeld, and then uh, Marika Elon. It's Marika on Twitter. Weekend plans. I might watch Bad Trip. <laughs> I heard it's good. I heard it's really yeah, funny. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited, actually. Fine. 2020 was a big year for podcasting, Billy. We saw not only a pandemic of epic proportions, 500,000 Americans lost to mm. what is essentially a respiratory disease that becomes more and more viral as the months go on. And that's this point, it's sort of a race between getting enough people inoculated and you know, these new variants that keep popping up, we're starting to see actual double mutant variants where more than one strain is entering a host and basically forming an entirely new monster that scientists can't quite keep up with. And yes, you have Moderna's CEO saying, hey, by the fall, we might get that booster shot, which would protect against different variants because you're talking about just subbing in the new RNA <laughs> sequence from these variants. These, you know, there's the ones that originated first in South Africa. <laughs> you have now the dominant strain, which I believe is B117 <laughs> in the United States, coming in from a jolly old England. Uh, but it's it's not <laughs> much of a joke. It's pretty scary, actually. Yeah, it is pretty scary. <laughs> the but fuck are you talking about? Definitely a big year for podcasts, <laughs> like you said. <laughs> yeah, what does that have to do with podcasts? Because people stayed home and they needed audio for their ears. You don't want to constantly be staring at a screen when you could be just listening to someone scream. The issue... Okay. Is What's that? I said, mm hmm, mm -hmm. and okay. 2020 <laughs> saw Amir Blumenfeld lose even more clout in the podcasting industry. We're talking hemorrhaging money at the network. Hmm. Uh, and, what? What's that? I didn't say that. That's not true. Billy Scafiri won an Emmy, money. which wasn't much of a surprise. Mm -hmm. And Marika Brownlee. In 2020? Was mm -hmm. it, 20? it was no. 2019. This would have been 2019. It might have been 2018. You don't have to look it up. Billy's telling you he's the sort. Marika Brownlee played a sax. But perhaps the most important part of 2020 and the podcasting industry, Hollywood mm -hmm. at large, was me. I you? mean, what's that? You? You? Yeah, is that what you're saying? Because before well, 2020, and this is what I want Marika to kind of understand, is that I only toyed with the idea of audio. Of what? Of audio. Just audio. <laughs> you toyed with the idea of audio. What does that even look yeah. like? The nominees for Best Supporting Host are Amir Blumenfeld, If I Were You, Amir Blumenfeld, The HeadGum Podcast, and Amir Blumenfeld, Buckets.
Why supporting host? What's that? Why supporting host? And the nominee for best podcast on the HeadGum Network. Whoa. The big one. Whoa. The nominee is thereby also the winner is Why Won't You Date Me with Nicole yeah. freaking Byer. I mean, I think we all knew that it was going to be this one. Uh, the funniest show on the network. The the best. She left. What's that? Yeah. The sh- that show went to Team Coco. Um, Nicole's still a host on on Headgum with uh, here's newcomers. What here's what I'll say. That show specifically, <laughs> like she can still win. This is for up to 2020, right? Oh, I technically see. we could take this award. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's like she was on the network. Up until yeah. 2021, that's true. So I don't really um, know. Jeff's making a f- <laughs> confused face, but it's unclear what he's confused about. Because you guys are lovers, salacious Better. sexual partners, <laughs> when I mm-hmm, get some kind mm-hmm. of emotional component as well, I thought that mm. we could play a game. Well, it's not really a game. It's just literal couples counseling as a way of not only promoting antisocial distance, but also to get to the root of your guys' inevitable issues oh. why is marty here for this it seems yeah, like we have the same three thing. guests and yeah it's marty's like, now you're just here talking to us. as that last bastion of bachelor <laughs> aren't you single what's that <laughs> <laughs> i'm romantically entangled with a bachelorette party uh plugs <laughs> what are you, we you guys excited on? for mortal kombat tomorrow what's that the movie on hbo mortal kombat yeah i don't know it looks pretty cool <laughs> are you guys in it no. So why would you watch it? <laughs> yeah, Amir sent this uh, a couple weeks ago on April 8th. He said, I found a tagline worse than what's that? And it's Hagen does. <laughs> and he says, there's vanilla. Then there's our vanilla. Hashtag that's das. <laughs> that's das. <laughs> that's das. Hashtag that's das. <laughs> that's das, folks. <laughs> and then Marika said, what's that? That's das. <laughs> <laughs> what are we Should have doing? said that before. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> Welcome to. I fucked that one up. Welcome Forgot to sing. Way or Butler Gerard edition. I'm gonna oh, list off okay. some quotes, and you're gonna tell me which Gerard said it, Butler or Way. I don't know who Gerard Way is. No. <laughs> Lead singer of My Chemical Ra- Romance. Yeah. My, chem- <laughs> My Chemical <laughs> Romance. <laughs> Everybody loves Rayman, Zarek. Um, uh, here we go. You guys ready? This is all for cash. Yeah. Ten dollars Venmo. Well, not Venmo, but oh, uh, Cash App or yeah. Apple, whatever. Pay. You I love a girl. Me, I think. That was worse than a what's that? You just stopped dead and stared at me. I hated it. Recently, I've been stank eyeing people on this show. I did it last week. <laughs> yeah. All right. I love it's a girl with. Fun. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Resting Jeff face. <laughs> I love a girl with a good sense of humor who is confident but has a sweetness to her. That melts my heart. Way. No. <laughs> Butler. Way. <laughs> Okay, so Marika and Mar- Micah, you got it wrong. Jake, you got it right. I owe Jake 10. Marika, Micah, you owe me 10. Wait, there's only or- one question? And we that- owe you money? Oh, yeah, if you get it and wrong, you owe me 10. You haven't played in a minute, huh? You yeah. didn't say that, though. You said you said if you get it right, you'll bend Yeah, I don't 10. know. I guess that's the consequence of not listening to the show week to week. Here we go. As soon as I go into a Starbucks, I take off my sunglasses. I want to be recognized, and I want free coffee. Wow, right. got to be way... Oh. That's absolutely correct. You guys all got it right. Uh, Marika, Micah, breaking even. Jake is up 20. Here we go. Oh, we should say, Jake, that your your house. Easy. Is up for no. rent. Well, it's up for rent. Yeah, okay. It's, I'm wondering if we get another want. style tenant. <laughs> I don't want. Heroes are ordinary people who make themselves extraordinary. Butler. What's that? Uh, butler. <laughs> he said, what do you mean, what's that? He clearly what's said your Butler. Answer? Jake? I say butler too. <laughs> Actually, what's your what give us your trust wallet e hash and he'll send yeah, you yeah. the bonfire coin directly. That way we don't have to <laughs> that deal with seems USD. Easier. Yeah. I love that. What's your BSC address? What's that? <laughs> what's that? <laughs> what's a BSC? That's the uh it's Babysitters Club. Babysitters Club address. <laughs> so it's where you used to babysit. Um forget oh, yeah. it. We'll get it at the end of the episode. 
And I walked up to the hostess desk and I was like, um, hey, like, uh, I'll just so you know, like all of us are here. Uh, I put my name in like an hour ago. You said it would be an hour, but you haven't texted me yet. And like, I meant it as like, I'm early. So like, no worries. But like, I, I'm not walking up because we're ready. But it came out as, why didn't you text me yet? And I thought about it. I've been thinking about it every day. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it's probably okay. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you make me not want to talk at all. You are yeah. a silencer. You, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're actively ruining the show that you host, which is difficult Damn, to pull off. Daniel. <laughs> what about if you're wearing like a basketball jersey? That's not like, oh, I'm wearing a LeBron James jersey, but it's like, oh, I'm wearing this old vintage like 1992 Eddie Jones jersey to Coachella or something like that. Daddy is that considered? Oh. I feel like if you're going to Coachella, that's chuggy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because that, that falls sure. under the bar. What's that? For sure. I was agreeing because I want to be agreeable. <laughs> it's I should be called Coach Chuggy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, one second. By the way, I'm looking to unload weekend two. T- uh, you muted me. Yeah. <laughs> 